good, good afternoon, everyone. Today, I will tell you about the results of my research work, which is devoted to the influence of the variable cross-section on the dynamics of domain wall in the curved ferromagnetic uh, nanostripes with variable cross-sectional area. Namely, we analyze how the dynamics of the domain wall is influenced by the variations in the cross-sectional area. Uh, uh, controlled fast uh, motion of the domain wall is key to uh, high density, ultra fast, and non volatile magnetic memory and can significantly improve spintronic devices. Uh, recently, uh, usually the dynamics of the domain wall is uh, induced by an external magnetic fields or spin and uh, or charge currents. However, recently it uh, was shown that in a curved ferromagnetic nanowires, uh, curvature gradient can, crea uh, can create an alternative geometric uh, external uh, internal drying force uh, through a zelushinsky mora interaction. Uh, experimental uh, recent experimental results uh, have shown that, uh, have confirmed uh, this prediction and have shown that uh, the um, uh, domain wall motion can be induced by the curvature gradient but they have also shown uh, that uh, the domain wall movement is heavily influenced by the variations in the, the wire cross-section and in uh, some cases can even create a greater drying force than the curvature gradient of the wire. Uh, hence, there is a need to analyze how the dynamics of the domain wall is uh, influenced uh, by the changes in the wire cross-sectional area. Uh, in this work, we aim to theoretically and numerically study uh, the, how the dynamics of the domain pole in curvilinear ferromagnetic nanostripes is influenced by the cross-section variations. Uh, our obtained results we uh, illustrate on several specific examples, namely on the uh, straight stripe, uh, on an arc of a circle and on an Euler spiral. Uh, let us consider a ferromagnetic uh, scene near a ferromagnetic nanostripe uh, that is uh, located in a one plane uh, whose uh, thickness and width is sufficiently small to ensure the uniformity of magnetization over the entire cross-section, and the length is, uh, significantly exceeds its transverse dimensions. Uh, this uh, system, this, uh, magnetization, uh, can be simplified uh, to a function m, that depends only on uh, time and on an arc length coordinate. An angular uh, uh, parameterization of such a function is shown on the first formula. Uh, the magnetic properties of such a wire uh, can be described by a classical uh, model of ferromagnetic, nano, uh, ferromagnetic wire with the Bexel anisotropy. The, uh, the easy axis of magnetization is directed tangentially to the central line of the wire, and the easy plane is uh, coincides with the plane in which the wire is located. The magnetic energy density of a magnetic nano stripe uh, is shown on the second formula. Here, uh, the first term describes the uh, uh, exchange uh, interaction uh, with L, E, 
an exchange constant and a this uh, is an uh, or a is, is an exchange constant and l is an exchange length the second uh, term describes an geometry induced zelshinsky more interaction with the zelshinsky vector and uh, omega as a double vector with uh, kappa uh, a dimensionless curvature and uh, uh, sigma a dimensionless torsion. Uh, the third uh, term describes uh, the mesotropy constants. Uh, Ka is the uh, tangential anisotropy constant, and Kp is the plane uh, is a plane anisotropy constant, as describes uh, the. Uh, is the function of the viral cross-sectional area with uh, Xc as the, as the dimensionless arc length coordinate. Uh, in this model, we make several big, as, uh, big assumptions. In addition to the fact that uh, the transverse of the dimensions of the wire should be sufficiently small to allow the uniformity or magnetization over the entire cross-sectional area of the stripe, uh, we also uh, require either a constant uh, relation of um, the constant aspect ratio between the wire width and uh, thickness or a circular uh, wire. Uh, this is required to assume that the anisotropic const um, constants uh, are uh, anisotropic coefficients are constant. Uh, uh, as we also include in them the magnetostatic interaction, which will not be the constant if the aspect ratio or the wire cross section uh, changes not just in its area but also in its shape. Uh, the dynamics of the domain wall we describe using the Q5 model introduced by Slonchevsky and Malazemov. Uh, here, uh, theta and uh, phi is uh, an angles of uh, angular parameterization that was shown earlier. Uh, delta is uh, domain wall width. Uh, Q, uh, P is a topological charge which determines the type of the domain wall either and head to head or tail to tail uh, q and phi are the conjugated uh, collective variables which describe uh, the domain wall position and domain wall phase respectively uh, using this model, we have obtained the magnetic uh, domain wall energy of the domain wall written in collective variables. Uh, he, uh, uh, this uh, domain wall energy is um, approximate uh, with up to the additive constant and uh, quadratic terms with respect to curvature and curvature gradient. Uh, using this, uh, using this uh, energy, we have obtained the domain, uh, the equations of motion of the domain wall in a curve for magnetic nanostride with variable cross-sectional area. Here, uh, the third equation describes uh, the relaxation of the width of the domain wall to its uh, equilibrium value delta naught. Uh, here, uh, alpha is, uh, is a dampening parameter, and uh, the uh, characteristic relaxation time of this equation is described by this parameter alpha. It is usually very small. So we can assume that the domain wall width is a slave variable. Thus, uh, to describe the dynamics of the domain wall, it is sufficient to, uh, to uh, analyze only the first two equations. 
uh, using the uh, equilibrium value delta naught. Uh, we have um, uh, simplified these uh, equations of motions for three specific cases a straight stripe, a stripe in a shape of a circle, and an Euler spiral. In all three cases, we assumed that the relationship, the ratio between the gradient of the cross sectional area to its value is constant. Uh, here it will be described as strong. Uh, for the straight uh, stripe, we have simplified the equations of motion. Uh -huh. we, we have simplified the equations of motion uh, by, uh, uh, by uh, uh, taking into account the lack of curvature and curvature gradient. Here, as uh, the first equation shows that the gradient of the cross-sectional area becomes the uh, drain force. If you look closely at this equation of motion, we can see that it is similar to the uh, equations of motion uh, for uh, the domain wall that are induced by an external magnetic field. In other words, we have uh, simplified uh, the effect of uh, variable cross-sectional area to the effect of the, an external magnetic field, which is already well studied. And here is the uh, effective magnetic field of this cross-sectional gradient. We have solved this system of equations and derived an asymptotic velocity of the domain wall caused solely by the gradient of the cross-sectional area, the first formula. Uh, the domain wall phase in the linear of, uh, portion of the uh, graph is constant and is derived by the, uh, e, by the second formula. Uh, uh, however, the domain, uh, the gradient of the cross-sectional area also induces the vocal limit, which means that if the uh, gradient of the cross-sectional area is sufficiently large, uh, then uh, the uh, maximum velocity drops sharply and the subtrotic formula seems to, uh, stops being valid. Uh, we have confirmed our analytical predictions with um, uh, full-scale micromagnetic simulations shown as symbols. We have also analyzed uh, the case of a circle arc with a variable uh, cross-section. Here we can see there are two terms. Uh, the first term is uh, determined by the cross-sectional gradient, while the second term is determined by uh, the combination of cross-sectional area gradient and the, curvature, and the uh, curvature of the stripe. We have also conducted a full-scale micromagnetic simulations. Uh, in this case, the asymptotic velocity of the domain wall has two components. The first component is the already found uh, asymptotic velocity for the straight stripe, and the second uh, is determined by the combination of curvature and a gradient of the cross-sectional area. Uh, here also the vocal, uh, appears the vocal limit, but it is increased by the curvature. Uh, the equations of motion were also simplified in a small angle approximation for the Earl spiral. Here there are two components, it's, uh, the uh, curvature gradient and the gradient of the cross-sectional area. Uh, as you can see, the, the resulting asymptotic velocity of the domain wall has two components. The first component is a similar as in the previous cases, but the uh, second component differs from the case of a circular arc and uh, is actually equivalent to the asymptotic velocity of the domain wall in an early spiral with constant cross-section uh, first uh, found here. All in all, we have found uh, we have shown that the dynamics uh, of the domain wall in a straight stripe of the variable for section is similar to the dynamics of the domain wall in external magnetic field ashro. Uh, the cross section area gradient results in the appearance of the vocal limit in the dynamics of the domain wall. 
Uh, moreover, uh, the, the curvature increases this gradient, so, or increases this focal limit, uh, uh, which allows for the higher asymptotic velocities. For the limited case of the constant curvature gradient, uh, the velocity of the domain wall is proportional to the sum of curvature and cross-sectional area gradients. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Questions, please, Pytania, будь ласка. Bogdan Ivanovich, будь ласка. Yes, I have uh, one, maybe two questions. Okay. Um, why a QV uh, model uh, uh, is preference uh, to description the dynamic uh, domain wall? It is short. Uh, another second is uh, what additional peculiarity in magnetic distribution can be take into account in this approach. Uh -huh. In this approach, we account the changes in cross-sectional area. In uh, basically all uh, works uh, in this area uh, of curved uh, magnetic wires, the cross-sectional area was always assumed to be constant. Uh, the framework for even analyzing the system where uh, the cross-sectional area is not constant was appears only shortly. And this, uh, and here we analyzed several systems with um, non-constant um, cross-sectional area. Thank you. Thank you. Larissa Sveridina. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your talk. Uh, and I have a question concerning the possible applications uh, of the nanostripes uh, uh, with uh, uh, magnetic field in it and your results especially. And the second question is, uh, <coughs> uh, in absolute values, um, what are the velocities of the main walls in such systems, uh, uh, a range of the velocities? Okay, uh, let's return for the first slide. Uh, talk uh, first of all, the applications. Uh, there are two main directions of applications. First is uh, memory. There are several, actually several ways to make uh, uh, memory on the um, uh, curved uh, nanowires. Uh, and they are both uh, are no, and they are all uh, are heavily analyzed uh, uh, because they provide both uh, high um, high dense uh, memory density, uh, energy uh, um, high memory density. They are non volatile and uh, they are very fast. Uh, for example, of such a memory, there are racetrack memory uh, where the domain wall uh, changes act as a, a bits of memory. Uh, uh, and the second <coughs> application <coughs> is uh, in spintronics, uh, as uh, for example here in this uh, experimental work, uh, the uh, one of the proposed. Usages is a uh, connect uh, connect connector between different plane uh, planes. As currently in spintronics, this is uh, uh, quite the problem because we can make uh, a ch a spintronic chips, but we can't connect them unless they are on the same plane without significant losses due to uh, spin charge conversion. And uh, to your second question was a range of velocities. In the, uh, here you can see actually the um, experimental results. Uh, and if you, if you convert uh, micrometers to nanoseconds, that's around 300 meters per second. Uh, and this agrees with your uh, results uh, obtained from the analytical study. I, 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 what I had in mind is, 
can you directly apply your uh, results uh, for these practical uh, applications? I know these are widely used. Um, uh, for now, uh, our goal was to explain it in the first place. Uh, why is uh, um, cross-sectional area changes uh, change the um, velocity of the domain wall, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, which effect uh, effects result in it, and we in fact are working with the group that conducted this. Uh, we contacted this group that conducted this experiment and are trying to. Uh, adjust our model so that it could be experimentally conducted. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Uh, Any okay. other questions? I, I think we have no time. Okay. But in any case, we don't have questions. Okay, a lot to thank uh, the speaker again.